Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add contacts manually to data extensions. So in the previous videos, I covered how to create data extensions using both Email Studio and Contact Builder. Right now, we're going to add a um, contact to a data extension using the Contact Builder. Uh, so let's go there first. And earlier, I actually mentioned that there are some subtle differences between Contact Builder and Email Studio when it comes to managing data extensions. And this is exactly what we're going to cover now. So I navigated to data extensions. I'm going to have a look at the data extension I created just before. Um, actually, it doesn't matter that much. I'll take the number one that we created earlier. Um, and here I'm going to navigate to records. Now, when I'm here in records, um, uh, you'll see a button uh, called Add Record. And um, if you're thinking in subscribers or contacts, a record may be a bit of a strange name. Um, but let's take a step back here because data extensions are not only used for subscribers or contacts. They may, in fact, be used for a list of purchases done by any contact. Or it may be for some um, data you capture, uh, captured from your website. Um, maybe some other kinds of transactional data. So that's why they use the word record. It actually does make sense. Um, and that's what I'm going to do now. Now, there is one thing that if you're going to try this um, yourself, it's possible that you will not see the button um, add record. And the reason will be that um, you need to make sure you have a primary key among your fields. Now, in the previous video, when we created um, this data extension, I set the, the field email to be the primary key. Actually, if I click edit, you can see that for yourself. Um, you can see that here there's a field primary key flag. I can't change it anymore because once you define it, it's, uh, it's stuck in the DE and you, you would have to create a new DE. Um, but that's a um, requirement to be able to add records manually. Going back to records, I'm just going to click add record and um, I'll just add myself here. So right, Anthony Lamotte, selects.io, there we go. And Anthony Lamotte, that's me. And active, well, I'm quite active, thank you very much. So I'll save that. And basically that's it. Um, and uh, we, can, we can repeat uh, repeat doing this, so for instance, I could add, let's say, another email address like this. Uh, but in this case, maybe for this contact, I don't know the first name and last name. It's fine. We can also save that like that. And so you can add some records manually. Of course, you don't want to do this for your actual customers or subscribers, unless in maybe very rare cases. Uh, rather, this is a very convenient way to quickly add some subscribers to a data extension while you're doing tests or if you're creating a test data extension, which is going to include yourself and your colleagues uh, in case you want to do some test sense later on with email. Now, I mentioned earlier that there are differences between Contact Builder and Email Studio in terms of DEs. So let's go back to Email Studio for a second and let me prove that to you. Here in Email Studio, I can manage data extensions through subscribers and then DEs. And let's go back to that very same data extension. Oh, and by the way, notice that now the record count is two, not surprisingly. Great, so um, just like in Contact Builder, when I'm here in Email Studio, I can go to records, but uh, there is a key difference. There is no add record button, uh, which is very confusing if you, if you don't know what's going on. Um, you can still import data here, that's uh, perfectly possible, and this is something I'll show you in a later video. But for now, remember, if you want to quickly add records manually to DEs, use Contact Builder. Thanks! Hey there, it's Anthony again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, whenever we put new videos online, you'll be notified automatically. Thank you, and have a great day.